the Guardian S. At first glance, it might seem that the next vehicle is a mechanical worm that escaped from an experimental laboratory. However, reality is much more boring. The Guardian S really does look like a snake or a worm, but this form was not chosen by chance. The RC robot was designed specifically for visual inspection. It can go up to narrow and difficult to access places, find cavities or holes, and examine them carefully. All thanks to a high quality camera and a large number of sensors, e.g. infrared, gas, and vibration. The Guardian S assesses the situation while allowing people to remain completely safe. The robot is not afraid of even the most dangerous chemicals and can also be used for military reconnaissance. Otsor OR3. Patrolling different areas is an important part of the work of police officers, guards, and other special services. Traditionally, this work is performed by trained individuals. At the same time, it is a time-consuming job that does pose a threat. Fortunately, things could change very soon, because there are already robots designed specifically for patrolling. For example, Free Robot from the Otsor company in Singapore. The robot doesn't need to rest, its productivity doesn't diminish with time, and in addition, it doesn't need a vacation. The OR3 works completely independently, allowing people to focus on more important tasks. Surprisingly, the robot looks friendly, doesn't scare people, and makes them feel safer and completely secure. While OR3 patrols the streets, you can approach it at any time and ask for help or information. In a critical situation, the robot will scare off intruders with a siren and a flashing beacon. The robot can also be used by the police to receive information about a situation and to give recommendations. A special scanner constantly monitors the space around it and allows the robot to stop when an obstacle appears, either moving or static. OR3 also notifies and warns about illegally parked cars and abandoned or suspicious objects. In addition, the facial recognition system allows it to remember and identify criminals. Five Watt Green Laser Dazzler System. Here we have a small, mobile but quite powerful unit. It's a non-lethal blinding laser weapon. It was first developed to fight terrorists, but it can also be used for other tasks. The directed green beam causes a temporary dazzle and has a psychological effect, which makes the enemy lose the ability to act accordingly. In addition, the moving beam creates a light curtain effect that prevents snipers from aiming at a target. It also interferes with visual observation, even using optical devices. The main advantage of the system is its compact size. It can even be installed on the roof of a car. Skywall 100. We've reached today's last specialized piece of equipment. It looks pretty intimidating, but fortunately it's not designed to attack people. Skywall 100 from the British company Openworks has been designed to eliminate enemy drones. The system, as you can see, is portable. It uses parachute netting as projectiles for a smoother landing. Thus, the Skywall 100 deprives the drone of the ability to continue flying and forces it to land without damaging it. The range of action is 100 meters. It should be noted that the device is very easy to use. Even an inexperienced person can do it, all thanks to the smart aiming system, which in a few moments determines the speed of the target and the distance from it. This will allow you to shoot with great precision. The weight of the device is about 10 kilograms. No more than eight seconds are needed to set it up. It should be noted that the Skywall 100 is the most compact version of the device. There are also units that shoot at a distance of 200 or even 300 meters, so they are much bigger. Railgun. In the last century, experts concluded that the use of gunpowder in arms has reached its limit. Each year, weapons were modified to render them more perfect and destructive. However, the velocity of the projectile when using gunpowder is very limited and is not enough for future wars. This conclusion led scientists to the idea that it's necessary to start developing weapons with a fundamentally new working system. That's how railguns came to be. A railgun is an electromagnetic mass accelerator. 
The projectile is driven by current and accelerates by moving along two metal electrode rails. The projectile is destructive not because of the explosive, but because of the high speed of movement and the kinetic energy. This weapon doesn't require a constant source of current to operate either. We'll not go into the details of the operation of the weapon, for they are complex and require a great understanding of physics. Instead, we'll tell you that after over 50 years of experiments and research, railguns have been improved and perfected. Thus, last year, the US Navy showed its latest invention. During the test, the projectile reached a speed of about 2,500 meters per second, even though it was fired with only one-third of the gun's power. On the battlefield, the railgun is supposed to be used from a distance of about 320 kilometers. Even under such conditions, the projectile will reach a 5-meter target with incredible precision. There are many advantages to this gunpowder-free weapon. Railguns will put an end to the difficulties of transporting explosives, and at the same time, they'll increase people's safety. Browning M2 the next weapon we're going to see is a large-caliber American machine gun. The motivation for its creation was World War I. And although the Browning M2 machine gun was launched in 1933, it is still used by many armies around the world. It's used in more than 100 countries, including Belgium, Great Britain, South Korea, Finland, Switzerland, and the United States. Since its creation, about 3 million of these machine guns have been produced. The reason is the large number of advantages and the fact that there aren't many similar products. The Browning M2 visor allows the weapon to be used for long-range shooting. In some cases, this machine gun can hit moving targets at a distance of about 2,250 meters. The aerial version of the machine gun fires from 750 to 850 shots per minute. The infantry version, called the M2HB, fires 450 to 600 shots per minute. The initial speed of the bullet is about 890 meters per second. The BGM-71 TOW This is an American heavy anti-tank missile system. The BGM-71 TOW system was first introduced in 1970. Back then, it was already clear that it was a simple and reliable machine, with a design that would allow the system to be perfected over time. It's thanks to these features that the BGM-71 TOW is still in use today. Since its creation, the BGM-71 TOW system has been modified and modernized several times to meet the new needs of the military. Today, it's a bulky machine capable of reaching targets up to four and a half kilometers away. In the United States, this missile system is the main anti-tank guided weapon. It's also in service in major European countries, as well as China, Japan, Canada, and some other countries. The missile's flight speed varies between 278 and 320 meters per second. The exact performance depends on each model. There are more than 10 different versions too. Some countries are developing their own improvements for the BGM-71 TOW. The key features are effective range, a powerful warhead, and an excellent semi-automatic guidance system. Infrared cameras allow missiles to be fired even at night.